What is the difference between Formula One and Formula E? Well, I'm gonna tell ya. For starters, Formula E is an all-electric racing series while Formula One showcases hybrid cars with internal combustion engines powered by fossil fuels. I'm gonna try and pretend like I know what I just said. Anyways, a Formula E car can go from 0 to 60 in around 2.8 seconds, whereas a Formula One car can do 0 to 60 in around 2.6 seconds. So basically not a whole lot of difference off the line. When it comes to tracks, Formula One races on a mix of street circuits and dedicated racetracks, with Formula E racing on street circuits held in urban areas. But do they share any of the same tracks? Yup. Monaco, ever heard of it? So I know your next question, how do the lap times compare? The lap record in an F1 car was by none other than Sir Lewis Hamilton with a 1 minute 10.16. Whilst the quickest lap time by a Formula E driver was Sasha Ferenstraz with a 1 minute 28.773. Yeah, that's quite the difference. So how old are the racing series? Formula 1 had its first ever season in 1950 while Formula E is just a baby in comparison and made its debut in 2014. Basically, Formula 1 is old. So what other differences are there between Formula 1 and Formula E? So in Formula 1 we have DRS, which is short for Drag Reduction System. Learned that in school. Essentially, the rear wing opens up giving the car less resistance and upwards of a 12 km per hour increase in speed. You add that slipstream and you're one place higher up on the race and boom, Bob's your uncle. Anyways, back to what I was saying. The Formula E cars don't have that flappy thing that I was just talking about, but they do have attack mode. Not sure why I just did that in an American accent. So what is attack mode? Every track will have an attack mode zone, usually off the racing line. Where if a driver goes through that zone, they will temporarily boost their power by 50 kilowatts. Not quite sure what a kilowatt is, but okay. In Formula 1, there are 20 drivers in each race, and in Formula E, there are 22. In my opinion, the more the merrier. There are 16 races in a Formula E season, compared to the recently updated schedule of 24 races in Formula 1. With there only being 20 F1 drivers in the world, a lot of drivers have to look elsewhere once their Formula 1 careers are over. So how many ex-F1 drivers are currently on the Formula E grid? Six. And they are Pascal Verlein, Stoffel van Dorn, Nick de Vries, Sebastian Buemi, jean eric Verne, and Lucas de Grassi. Hope I don't miss any, that would be awkward. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace. Oh yeah, please like and subscribe.